Lake Tiana, got our food, got our fuel, all set to go to the Mavora Lakes. Look at that beautiful scenery. Coming up to the turn off for Avora Lakes. It's a wee gravel road uh, in quite a distance. But we don't we don't worry too much about the gravel. It's uh, easy enough as long as you take your time and just uh, ride within your level of confidence and abilities really. Another left turn to the lakes. The road's very corrugated, I guess because of traffic that uses it, camper van and so on. No doubt slowing down, speeding up, just creating those corrugations. Beautiful scenery up here, stunning. Look at that. I thought that was one of the lakes, but it ain't. It is a lake. We've got the South Lake and then the Northern Lake, with a range of camping sites in between. Very cheap price to pay for a good place out in the wilderness. them if we can. Got bitten enough last night. But home for a night. So we have the humble abode all set up ready for the night. Mountains are impressive. They surround us with the lakes in between. You can really see on this map how close both Queenstown Lakes and Lake Tiana are to the Mavora Lakes. It's very cool. Very cool. Even with a bit of wind, it's not too bad. Got a well good set up. Open plan, didn't everything air out and dry out a bit. It's got to be a good thing. So, a great view out to the lake in the morning. Oh, mine's as fizzy as your one. Ha! Huh? Yeah. Our side is a little bit over fizz, but we can get it out. If you're thirsty, there ain't no, there ain't no non-solution. Oh well. Cheers, again. I know you already cheers, cheers, but I'll cheers. 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 Yeah, cheers. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. Living a life here with uh, some uh, trabada bread and cracked pepper pate. A bit breezy. It's actually quite a... Not too bad here right here. But heading down to the water. I've got the swimmers on. We're about to throw this corpse into the water. Oh, it's muddy. It's muddy. It's muddy. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I love this. This is cold. I am freezing. It's cold. It's cold, but it's actually very nice. Oh, oh that was cold down there, and I think, I think he... You gotta be said on shore after swimming in the lake. That is delicious. Kiwi jandal fixing ingenuity. The old nail in the jandy wandy. Keeps them going for another 20 years. So, dinner time at the Mavora Lakes where we're going to uh, saute some uh, onion. 
Also got some uh, hams, potato and bacon salad. That looks pretty delicious. And we've also got on special, of all things, on special, the beef porterhouse sirloin steak. Why the hell not? It looks delicious. It's got to be delicious. So to the onion, we've added some soy sauce and a little bit of just pain to it. And if you can smell that, it goes four dimension smell of vision. That's looking pretty damn good. Look at that. Now we'll see how steak is going. Chicken. Maybe we can see uh, some uh, sampling of the delicious uh, to a car for their sausage ends. <laughs> you know, it might be a little bit breezy. But, a couple of motorcycles, a tarpaulin, and up over the top of there, <laughs> we've got a cooking, <laughs> oh, greetings. a cooking Hello. mecca, <laughs> in the shelter, look at that, look at that put out, think of those two tarpaulin sausages. So looking towards the mountain range and uh, lakes. Mavor, what is it? Mavora? Mavora Lakes. Mavora Lakes. We have a ribeye steak coated in an onion, which is got soy sauce. Soy sauce? What is it? Soy yeah. sauce? Soy sauce and some sugar. A nice bacon and potato salad with some instant country, uh, in, uh, back country rice. Carlsberg elephant beer and what's going on over here we have uh, the uh, yeah. the most fantastic the rice the salad the on uh, onions uh, the tomato and cheese and to a tart free original sausage we got a fire it's burning up in the what, what, what lake are we on there? Mavora. Mavora lakes again We're so a number of days have passed us by Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and now we're in Monday I'll tell you something, when you're working and stuff or doing whatever, this many days is perfect for just taking all the focus away from all the crap that goes on. And you forget about it all because you're surrounded by nature, you're disconnected because there ain't no cell phone reception and all that stuff. All those distractions that, uh, this is what it's all about. Back to nature in a sense and uh, back to and taken away from all that cellular connectivity that we do take for as uh, every day. What do we take it for? Granted. Uh, yeah, we, uh, well, yeah, we take it for granted. It's a necessity. It's a daily necessity. We must have it. Uh, and when you don't have it, it's actually a relief to not. It makes your days better. But don't you stop watching my YouTubes. <laughs> Stay connected, people. <laughs> Fire's got enough heat that the log on the other side is catching fire itself. A little shimmering, smoldering stuff going off. Mavora Lakes, 11 degrees at 9.30 at night. Sun is pretty much set on the horizon. Looking beautiful.
Ah, it's Patty. Brick up the brick. Pretty spectacular it was up that valley. Really enjoyed it. We're in Mossburn now. Stop for a convenience stop and regroup and we'll head to our next destination. We're gonna head a little across the island. We're going to head over one of the hills towards Ettrick. I'm going to catch up with a mate there. And then we'll head more into central Otago around Ranfurly. We will be getting closer to our next stop for the night. Be smart people on those <laughs> dusty roads. Um, don't put your tools in the back of the thing. When you're exhilarating, that ain't gonna make you go no faster. Can assure you of that. But still, the Grizzo is a mighty fine beast. I was opening the throttle up and the damn thing just wouldn't exhilarate. I was trying to find some oxygen. Ain't nothing going in there. Across the island, we're heading down towards Ettrick, Alexandra and ultimately Ramfurly. The scenery and rolling hills, roads, haven't been on very often before and I may have and some of these areas I, I, are very familiar but it's really awesome to come and ride these compared to living in Canterbury where plains very flat. You have to ride a little way, not too far, but you have to ride a little way to get to some windy, rolly sort of places. And it's uh, it's really cool to be able to experience this down here, especially on this trek where we're just going from one awesome spot to another awesome, awesome spot. We've just been to some really nice areas and uh, really, really have enjoyed this trek. All from just saying, oh, I would like to go to the Drummond Rally. Great to tack on a few extra days on either side and uh, soak everything all up. Like look over here, uh, we're on top of the hill looking down into the uh, central area and Ettrick and Roxburgh area. We're now beyond Roxburgh and we're heading more into the Alexandra area. And you can notice that change where you've got a lot more naked rock formations in the, in the land around and heading into Alexandra itself with the iconic bridge there with the old ruins to the right. Spectacular really. Here now we're looking over into the Idaburn Valley and if you're familiar with the Idaburn Valley you would then be familiar with the Brass Monkey that's been held uh, 40 years and different season definitely compared to Idaburn now today. I've been through here and it's been hoar frost and bitterly freezing cold. Today it was completely different, it's, it's hot. This turn off been out around here many times. I went to the Brass Monkey 19 years in a row and I've really enjoyed that rally. Hey, thanks for making it to this point. Really appreciate your watching and support. And this is not the end of this particular series. We've got another uh, film in production right now as we speak, and it will be out very soon, I hope. So thank you very much. Take care. Keep that rubber to the ground. Cheers.